Welcome to Lairbrow Gaming. My name is Lars and this is Return of the Ober Din by Lucas Pope, the man who created Papers, Please, a game I liked a lot, uh, but of which this game is different from. Uh, I noticed in the settings that we have different monitor selections, which I think is really, really fun. Uh, so I, what I think I'm going to do is that I'm going to maybe switch it up between episodes. So we'll start with the default Macintosh and begin. No fate solved. Begin. I know very little of the game, apart from it being a murder mystery of some kind. There we go. Lost to Sea 1803, the good ship Oberdin. Built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 feet draft. Captain R. Wittrell, crew 51 men, last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India Company London office for inquiries or testimony. Right. The Honourable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance and Claims London office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Falmouth, England. 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Sure do, Governor. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. I am excited about this. I mean, aesthetically it's not <laughs> very pleasing, I'd say. But, uh, you know. All right. What do we do? Use is zooming things in. Clicking does nothing. Right click also zooms in a little. Okay, do we just uh, climb up then? There we go. Space bar to climb up. Oh my. This looks <laughs> unique. Put it that way. Alright. What about the box? Need that box? Alright, what's happened? Um. I take it we are to just hang around on this ship for a while and figure out what's happened to it. Hello, dead man. What's up with you? Click. Click. Use. No. Are there uh, any controls at all? Controls. View controls. Alright, here we go. Space for action. E for zoom. Pause. Open book. Close book. Page right and left. Table of contents. Okay. Tab then. Nope. I don't have a book. Q. There's nothing. Uh, there we go. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. All right. It's no sprint button. Let's see what do we do? Can we talk to him. Let's go down again. It's a bit of a back and forth experience right now. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. Alright. Yes. Open. That's the book. Pick it up. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's weird how... The... I don't know. What do you want to even call it? The, this, the dotted thing. Shading. Kind of just works. Return of the Oberdin. Catalogue of Adventure and Tragedy, 1807. Right. Preface. I trust that you now found you find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come and my every intention was to tell tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, falling, ha failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first, or will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the, de the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay, the journey of the ship, the crew, life at sea. This is interesting. Wow, it's a lot of pages. All right, the journey. Uh, ship. Has gone from 
Let's see, where has it gone? It's been going from here. Is this the uh, the dotted line? Is that the yeah? There we go. It's gone to uh, to England. To the Canary Islands, Cape Verde. From uh, Cape, it seems Cape Town. Okay. And uh, deck plans for the Oberdin. Yes, we uh, we know that it's a ship. It looks like a ship. Okay. Second mate, fourth mate. Alright, so there these are cabins. Good. The map of who's supposed to be where. Interesting. Alright, we'll have a look at that later. The crew. Complete manifest. All of the people aboard. Whoa, that's a long list. But yeah, captain and 51 crew, right? That should be... Oh, there's more. 60. Seamen. Topman, midshipman, stewards. Ah, here we go. Passengers. That's why it's a bit extra. They are from England, Formosa, and etc. Alright. Determine their fates. Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Okay, so we have a lot of recognizable faces. We can zoom in. Underway. Alright. Formosan royalty. Interesting. So we can identify everyone and see what happened to them. So this is royalty. Okay. Justice at sea. Someone has been uh, executed along the way. ES. Okay. This is interesting. Intriguing. Intriguing stuff. Loose cargo. Uh, nothing. There we go. On the cargo deck. Okay. A bit of cold. So it, the... Henry Evans has written an outline for us, and we are to fill in the blanks, are we? On the Orlop deck. Murder. Uh, outside the first maze window. Okay, that's a clue. The calling. This is very interesting. Unholy captives. We are to write a book, then. On the cargo deck. Soldiers of the sea. On the port walk. On the cargo deck. The doom. On the bow. On the gun deck. Inside the captain's quarters. Oh, here's something. Uh, bargain. This chapter will remain unknown to you until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Awesome. All right. Let's go... Uh, let's go write a book. Escape. And... Midshipman cabin. All right. Let's go... Uh, let's go exploring then. Ah, uh, skim through the entire book first. Okay, sorry. I thought we had. The end. Outside the captain's quarters. Uh, glossary. Yes, we, uh, we will hop in here eventually. Captain, head officer in command of the ship, responsible for directing the other officers and ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. Right, I'm just... It is going to take some time, I guess, to, uh... To, uh, get a... Grip, get to grips with uh, this game because uh, as I mentioned I don't really uh, memento mortem Rem remember death inscription on the clock I guess the pocket watch okay uh, yeah it's time to get a I'm sure it's going to take some time for me to get used to sort of the flow and the pace of the game but we have begun so let's uh, have a look around I'm guessing this dude is going to Gonna just sail off now. Okay. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? So, this person. Hello. What do we do with the... With the watch? Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh-huh. Magic watch. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Uh -huh. Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Time of death. Alright, okay, so we get to investigate now what happened. The person seems to have been shot by the captain. So this is the captain, I'm guessing? Hello, captain. Oh, what happens now? I'm holding the, light, the left, no, the right mouse button. 
and then something happens. Okay, now he's in the photo. I'm guessing we can look at the photo. Open the book. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Okay, so I examine his face. And I open the book, and there he is. Captain. Justice at sea. Alright. And the captain, is the captain up here? No. Guessing that might be the only one of the captain. Okay, captain. Uh, what about this guy? Hello. Okay, so that might be the first mate, perhaps? Hmm. Definitely colleagues. Right, this person then. Who are you? You are one of the gunsmen. Oh. Are we running out of... Running out of time. So these sequences are a bit... Are they trapped in time? Or are they timed, I mean? Alright, so here we go. The end. Alright. The murder weapon. And where in the journey? Outside the captain's quarters. This is the location of the corpse. Three other people were present. Who is this? How did they die? Alright, we need to find out who this is. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. Uh, I guess... This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Met an unknown fate. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Right, so we need to find concrete evidence. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information nece necessary to identify them has been revealed to you. Or something. So, got shot. Shot, 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 shot. With a gun. This unknown soul was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. By the captain, actually. By Captain Robert Whitrell. I think. <laughs> Right? You can... Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. This soul appears in one memory. Okay. First memory. Perished in the end part one. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quick navigation. Okay. Can we change? After we've now said the captain did it, can we change that? Use the buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. This is gonna... this is getting complex very fast. Right. Uh, bookmarked, I guess. Yes. Oh, ah, we're back in the memory. Right. You, sir. Unknown. So we know from this thing that he's killed one of the others. How do we, uh, how do we finish this? Wait, he's holding a axe. Why? Yes, yeah, so we can change who did it, if uh, if it turns out that we are wrong. Alright. He's bookmarked. Location of the corpse, others were present, etc. How do we uh, leave this memory? We just walk out? Alright. I, uh, I guess that's, that's cool. We're cool. Alright, let's see what we find in, uh, let's see, this is, uh, an axe. Alright, let's see what we find in the captain's quarters. Here we go. Here we've got, I'm presuming, the captain. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at... The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, there we go. 
a bit of a skirmish. Let's see what's happened out here. Like, this guy is already dead. He's been shot. So, that's happened before. This happens. And uh, let's see here. This, I think, is yet again the captain. The captain is cutting this guy's throat. Now, who are you? You're the same guy. Hmm. Still unknown. All right. There's the gun from... Uh, uh, that's the captain's gun, I guess. Can we look in... Chests and whatnot? We cannot. All right. That's all the time we were given. I don't really understand that mechanic. Like, we get pulled out, I guess? All right, see... The end, part two. Inside the captain's quarters. Who is this and how did they die? Well, two others were present. Uh, this guy it says unknown, but this, I think, is the captain. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, along with the individual conversation logs, to find clues about this person. There were 60 people on board the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. Okay, so I've assumed this, this is the captain by now. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Yeah. And... That might not be the case, right? Some identities some ident identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Because, good luck. Because someone could definitely pose as the captain in this picture. But for now, I'm going to say it's the captain. Appears in two memories. Yeah. Right. Let's bookmark it. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to go ahead and assume that they are the captain. They might not be. Maybe they're killing everyone because they figured out that it's not the captain. This unknown soul was knifed. Let's see, knifed, knifed, yes, knifed. By an unknown attacker? No, Robert Whittrell by now. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we're, that's probably going to be wrong, right? It's probably going to be some, someone posed as the captain. Maybe this is the captain. Anyway, they're unknown for now. Two others were present. Okay. There we go. Ah, so this person was present. Very blurred, right? That's the, uh, the guy who died then, I guess. No, wait. This is the blurry guy and this guy is the shooter. I think. I'm not entirely confused. I mean, I am, but, you know. Right, so, what's with the stick here? It's not going through him, is it? No, it's just a stick. Right. The presumed captain. It's here slicing someone's throat. And that's really all we can see and do at this at this time. Oh, hello. Who are you? Ah, that's the other guy. All right. So what's going on with you then? You have a knife in your mouth. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, what else is happening? Is anyone else hiding around here? Maybe if we go up, we'll see something else. No, it's just this guy jumping down. All right. All right, let's leave this memory say thank you so much for watching this first episode of Return of the Obra Dinn. I'm intrigued and excited about this game. It's going to be very complex, but I like murder mysteries. So let's uh, be uh, Sherlock Ship Holmes.